to episode 67 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Stockport County. This very unexpected episode, we've been having some PC issues, but the game finally launched up. Or is it just the FIFA updates? I don't know. Sometimes this game just simply doesn't want to launch. Hell, I can't even launch it unless I use the live editor to bypass the anti-cheat. Anyway, we're here. We're on the main menu. We've got Manchester United away next. A big, big fixture indeed. Transitions me lovely to the conversation that I had at the start of last episode. Some people thought that I was bashing the Manchester City team. Not at all. Like I said in in that previous episode i think they do actually deserve the treble because they are a fantastic footballing team my problem with jamie carragher's tweet is how that translates to the greatest season that english football has ever seen because surely teams that have gone through more adversities deserve that claim more good luck to stockport in the league to play a final they're up against oh can i remember yeah carlisle i've just had to search that up they've had a great season and it just continues that run of good teams getting promoted from the conference doing well in league two there really needs to be a time where the football league and the national league come together and give us exactly what the fans want three promotion places from that national league it needs to happen and while we're at it ea national league please let's get it in the game i think we'll only be doing three games this episode i don't really want to be overloading the pc that much i'm trying to get rid of a lot of backlog footage and that's just stressing out the pc more and more we got very limited disc space to get this episode done so let's get it done posh cutsy oh hello there posh cutsy here bad news coming from the camp it seems like two of the players have gotten a very violent rick rolling accident as suggested by bud thank you very much if you're not in the discord yet please do links down in the description randomly select two players from our first team. They will be the ones involved in the bust up and will not be included in the squad this episode. Additionally, one of the players will be so fed up of the situation that you will either have to treble his wages or get him an immediate transfer out of the club. And we don't want that, so uh, money is to be spent. Toodles! Now, what actually is our best 11 players? Is it Joshua Poli? On that left-hand side, is it Coit Cook? Both at 74 overall. Is it Andre Belbel? Google has selected the numbers 4 and 10. So going from left to right and top to bottom, that is Socrates Alves and Alberto Soto. Interesting dynamic they've got there on the right-hand side then. Alberto Soto currently is on £37,000 a week. And Socrates Alves is on 66. So it will have to be Alberto Soto who we treble in wages. What is 37 times 3? Dirt, dirt, 90, 21. Oh, it's 111? That might be right, actually. That's quick maths if I've done that right. 37 by 3 is 111. Yeah! Mate, he has no idea what's about to happen here. I am about to drop the absolute mother load on him. 111,000 pounds a week for a right back. Yes. I think that would be a reasonable offer, don't you? Oh, Hamza Ben Slimane has been approached by Charlotte prior to beginning the uh, episode recording here. 3.3 uh, million, let's accept that. Potential sale there, obviously, MLS. Have some money to work with. Play match. It's our first game here. Yep. I really do hope we're in for a, a smooth gameplay experience because I can't lie, the PC's been on for 72 hours, which is not exactly optimal. Oh no, they put the port on the TIFO. No, 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 no. They must receive incredible punishment for that. Let's get a big win here. Sanders going back to the keeper. Lopez had a nothing episode last episode, so hopefully he can do better today. We are currently sitting third in the Premier League, but Chelsea are so far above us already on the 40 points. They have 40 points 
in 17 games. It's one of the rare occasions where you play them and realize just how good they are as well. So they might be a very interesting team over the next couple of seasons to try and catch up. I've completely forgot to take Calvez and Soto off. What an absolute nutcase. In comes Juicy John and Cabasau. It may be the Rick rolling accident happened 50 minutes into the game. Who knows? Uh, it looks like they're not talking to one another. Socrates is already down the tunnel. It's not even like there's been a break in between. Oh, what a tackle. No, I definitely knew that that was a feature of the board objective, and I just chose to ignore it. They've got John Stones as well. What is going on here, United? Really? Would I even take that in replacement to Man United's defense right now? Because I do think Ruben Diaz is absolutely sensational and holding everything together back there for City. Go on, Pegararo. Yeah, Jang Sung Chan on the volley. Christiansen might have used an arm, but the settings mean that we'll never get a penalty for it. I'm not going to fall into a false sense of security. Our Man United are playing better, but they're passing it around a lot. And it seems like our attacks are a bit more potent. Where's Ellis in all of this? Oh, go on! First chance for Stockport. Damien Ellis, front post header, pushed away. We have a corner. We've got to be careful we put in players for because just like Manchester United in real life, they do seem like a counter-attacking side. Juicy John, no chance to take the shot there. Yeah, too many players forward. Now we're in a bit of bother. Yes, yeah, Sanders had to deal with that quick before it got nasty. Damien Ellis, this is it. Pegararo goes down. We. And it is no foul, Jensen Chan. Juicy John is having a lovely, lovely match. Go on, yes! Feel the juice. Rhythm is a dancer. Juicy John's the answer. Let me sniff that ginger hair. <laughs> <laughs> Filthy, filthy animal. No joke, as we reach half time, that actually hurt my nose. Hey, you know what, PC? To say that you need a good old clean out, you are playing this game superbly right now. Stockport County playing brilliant. Of course, a local derby as well. So goodness knows what this would mean to the people of Stockport. That baby had a big head. What are we doing here, boys? The ball's gonna go across. If only Sanders wasn't there to come and save the day for Stockport. What a defender. What a bike line. Zaniolo is getting suffocated by Cabasau. No way past Dada Bustamante. Mikhelenko will be having nightmares of Juicy John. He's had a torrid time against the Garnet. And Rashford's been moved out to the left, it looks like. Quite possibly. Smash. Ball in! It is Lopez with a massive save. That's important. It's stingy stock, but revert back to tight, boys. Manchester United have not played poorly, by the way. We're just playing really, really good football. We've crumbled a little Smart. bit on that side. Lopez is needed. And I think they took Rashford off. Fantastic news. Keep up! Big hold up by Pegararo and the storm in Jang Sung Chan. I could have played the ball. It's Tiago. Oh, goodness me. I've just lashed out. Zaniolo, why are you taking your time to shoot? Oh, it's that close to an equaliser, but still the scoreline reads 1-0. Very tired passing to Marcus Toland. We're lucky to keep the ball. It's Joshua Bowley! Who could have sealed the deal right there. And Tege, why you got your gloves on? Out swinging corner kick. Get on, ender it, lads. Jang didn't even lock on. Oh, it's full time! We've won at Old Trafford! We love you, Wesley, we do! We love you, Wesley, we do! We love you, Wesley, we do! Oh, Martino, we love you! I beg your pardon. Arsenal apparently are in 19th place. It's not been long since our last Premier League match, maybe two or three days, but players seem to have rested up and recuperated really nicely. Cabasau's now up to 80 overall. We're getting a lot of 80s. Man, out of that team, it's incredible that Lopez is the one that's not 80 overall, honestly. It's Stockport against Arsenal. Kill him! Oh, big tackle, Antonio Creato. Got a lot of the ball and a lot of the man. Norton Cuffey. 
What's a name that is? A Comquoche played in the net for them! Oh, thick press! So many times I've had Arsenal fans tweet at me. Hey, look, a Comquoche turning out in the net for the Arsenal under-21s. Yes, I know. This is tweet number 453. <laughs> Bang! Creator! Yeah! Oh, man, I'm feeling it today. Belotti's trying to make himself a handful. Ah! Lopez is doing back kills. Ah! There's a lad here called Cozy Adubri. These double barreled surnames are getting wild. That almost stands it with the strength. Well, Arsenal have either sold all their talent and not signed anyone up, or they are playing a partial youth team against me. And to be honest, either scenario could be correct. Oh, Sanders has not put a foot wrong. Go on, Juicy John. He's on Sam. He's up against a lad called Trusty. Well, he can't be trusted to make a defensive play because he has missed the tackle twice in a row. A Congo is beaten by Damian Ellis at the front post. It's Stockport one. Arse nil nil. We so desperately need to get Damian Ellis some kind of hairstyle. Oh, oh, that'd be brilliant. Maybe we should just let Google decide. Cucaldinho, Cucaldinho. Ho oh, ho, Cucaldinho. We're playing as good this episode Wait. as we did bad last. I'm not going to lie. It's opening up my eyes here. The right and side is playing better without Soto. All Socrates, like Juicy John. We haven't seen this much productivity from him since art lessons in year three. Ah, uh, Juicy John is a bit of an artiste. <laughs> oh, what a touch! <laughs> Jang Sung Chan over the top. Great ball! Damian Ellis! It's denied by a Conquo. Cabasau's taking the mick. I mean, what a ball that is to Juicy John. Cook will get there. Cook will not get there, but he'll get the ball eventually. Kite Cook! Oh, that's perfect! Oh! <laughs> End the episode! End the episode! Kite Cook with a stormer! What a goal that is! Cucardinho! Cucardinho! Oh, just showing what kind of class he has in his locker. That is outrageous! The goalkeeper apparently has disappeared from screen on that replay. I don't know what's going on. Things are happening. Moving mad in this game. I'm losing my voice. It's only been two matches. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. I quite like the song Never Gonna Give You Up by Richard Astley. Look, I'm not gonna say Arsenal have played as well as Manchester United, but they still haven't played bad, which goes to show just how incredible Stockport County are playing right now. Cabasau, you are goated, mate. Aconqua, weirdly, has had a pretty fine game, all things considered. Pegararo tries a looping header. That will be full time. Stockport, incredible. What a three points to have. Is it the goal of the season? Is it the goal of the series? The slice on the ball makes it so much better. The fact that it hits the underside of the crossbar as well. It is unsavable. Big win, big clean sheet. Carabao Cup quarter final. We're getting to the stage where it starts to become a bit serious. Let's see how this does. We can intervene at some point if it's not going our way. I have no idea where this stockport has been hiding, but I want more of it. This is now a team that I can totally get behind. Oh, oh, Wolves have just scored a tremendous free kick five minutes into this match. Yeah, get it played in. There you go, there you go. Equalizer by Andre Belbel. Lovely little assist. Two teams that probably weren't expected to be challenging for top four, but having tremendous starts to the season. I wonder how much of that is down to Juan Vitti's appearance as a Wolves player. Oh, free kick. Oh, that's a great free kick position. Eh, check the win conditions. We'll go over Vitti's head. Watch and learn, boys. Vladislav Duda. Oh, hits the wall. I'm honestly devastated. Oh, I could be even more devastated. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nunes has gone up the other end of the field and scored from that counter-attack. It's Andre Belbel with a crossing. Yes! Oh, my goodness. How good was that cross? Miranda, you need to at least put it on target, man. We'll get the one chance, I think, but this will need to be taken. Giuseppe Pegararo, five minutes to go. He'll have to be towards that front post. 
Strong hand, Dean Henderson. We've had very little in terms of chances, but the two we've made have been pretty good to get us goals. I don't think it's going to be our night here. Juan Vitti is going to get the better of us. Oh, it's all right. It's not ended up in the goal. We're hanging on for dear life. This is the end of the game. Damien Ellis to shoot. Oh, he's done wide. He could have played it to Pegararo. And that's us out of the Carabao Cup. I didn't think he was going to open up at the end there. So I've taken the shot from the angle. That's a bit of silverware drifting out into the distance. More transfer offers for Hamza Ben Slimane. But I think we will reach an agreement with Charlotte. Celta Vigo have accepted our offer of just the loan for Azuna. It's going to be short term. But that's good enough for me. Hey, what a wild formation this is. This is like old school football from the 1920s. Look how advanced everybody is. Ferrari around Baku. Sorry, are we playing FIFA or Formula 1? Let's just appreciate this set for a second. It's doing the content for me. 150 career wins there for Wesley Martina. All them hip and trendy cool people in the stands. They're not football fans. They're here for Instagram pictures. You know that in their bio they've got social media influencer. Call him Michael Schumacher because Ferrari's on top. Nice open game of football. Oh, they've allowed Joshua Polly to run into it. Ooh, and he takes a blaster. Little lash out at goal. Mate, most of the corners that I've had have turned into immediate fouls. That's definitely something that has changed. But to be honest, mimics real life football. It really does. You have a drinking game on a Saturday of how many games that you see with corners that just end up in immediate fouls. Poor, you'll be on your back by about four o'clock. Oh, keeper, get out of here. Oh, Ferrari again, man. The number nine acting like a number nine. Fantastic finishing. Brighton and Ovalbian with the five-man attack making my four-man attack look a bit medieval at the moment. The socks simply have to be pulled up. Ferrari's in again for a hat trick. Must have been the joke before the game that gave him the impetus. Emanuele Ferrari, left forward, regen. With a name like that, he's got to be Italian. And Pegararo is our only Italiano. We've got a ton of goals in us. Could be absolute fireworks in the second half. Cabasau's getting cooked out there. And they're in again. Look at this. The right-hand side just can't cope. And it's Jesus. Get us into this dressing room. Wesley Martina, give him a talking to. There's openings all over their defence. If we can just take them. Toland interception. Did you get it to Pegararo. Oh, very lucky Damian Ellis. Here we go. Creato playing more inside. This is Damian Ellis with a turn of pace. Come on. Even with the time finishing being on. Switch that off. Nah. Nah. No. Jesus. Ah. We stopped Ferrari from scoring. Now Jesus is trying to tear us apart. Bro, how have we not scored more than two goals? The opportunities have been there. Yeah, that comeback dream's gone now. They're taking time off the clock with a few short corner kick routines. I absolutely commend them. Stockport County usually do better with the chances presented. But you know what? It's a bit refreshing to see, for once, my team doing pretty poorly with the attacking opportunities. Big up Emanuele Ferrari. What a player. The first three highlights are his hat trick. It's got to be the quickest hat trick from an opponent in youth squad legends. At 29 minutes? I guess that's what the wild formation gives you. If we can't capitalize on how open their defense is, then they are bound to win because they are bound to score. With how many players they commit to the attack, we can't stop them. Premier League tables looking like this. We are third place. Wolves and Chelsea are above us. Brighton are up into fifth after leapfrogging City. Arsenal are down in 20th. Cool. The league leaders look like they're running away with it. It's still looking like an incredibly strong and positive debut season in the Premier League for Stockport County. One more thing before I go. We are giving Google total creative control on Damien Ellis's hair. Du -du -du. Appearance. Hair type. 276. That is an amazing selection, it must be said. Not to spoil it or anything, but I've just remembered that there's a Patreon member wanting to customize Damien Ellis. So uh, maybe we put that hairstyle begrudgingly on someone else. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like if you've not subscribed around here yet. 
then press the red box down below and hit the bell icon for mobile notifications. Big thanks to everybody on the right hand side supporting me financially on Patreon. You can too with the link down in the description box. It would be phenomenal if you guys could help me out. Times are tough at the moment, so don't feel forced in any way. But if you do have a spare couple of pounds, spare couple of dollars lying around, it's always helpful. So yeah, cheers. Thank you ever so much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Sound right, boys.